You wait. It, it'll be good. That's the key. Don't burn the meal. Let's see if it looks moldy. Look at that. Just slap some butter on there. Ouch. Where's my tomatoes? Got it at the dollar store. Dang on it. Just mush it down. Not a problem. This is my favorite topper in the whole wide world. Remember the key is don't forget the bread's in the oven. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're making hash and eggs. I love hash and eggs. I don't know about you, but I love it. I'm hungry. Rob's hungry. We're all hungry in this house. Even the dog. I, I need to go get dog food. We ran out of dog food today. The dog is hungry too. Today, hash and eggs is on the on, on the menu right now because, yeah, that, that's what I feel like. This is going to be a cast iron meal. If you don't have a cast iron pan, no problem. Not a problem. Just make it in a regular skillet. Rob was in the Walmart and I texted him and uh, said, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, well, I got it. I got this. Put the pan on low. He was I in was the Walmart. Shopping. Yeah, he was out. I don't know what he was doing in the Walmart. He likes to do things out there in the Walmart. Back to the, the goodness of what I'm making. I'm also gonna make this special toast. Wait for that. So I've got the pan like on low, heating up here. I'm gonna open the corned beef hash. Yeah, this is corned beef hash. Got it at the dollar store. It was a dollar. I have this can opener here, the the manual kind. I don't own an electric can opener. You need to know this because power went out one day and I needed to open a can. And guess who couldn't open the can because she didn't have a manual can opener? This girl. I also don't have a spoon to get this out. I need that. You know what we're going to do? I can't open that end. I wonder if I can. That's kind of... Let me see if I can do this. No. Because the, the way the can... Is, ouch! The way the can is made, we can't do that. I was going to open this end and just push it through. Can't do that. I need to go get a spoon. Spoon. Just put this in the pan. You don't have to add anything in with this. Because this is already, like, greasy already got the grease going on. This is so easy. Anybody could do this, I promise. If you can't cook, if you think you can't cook, if you're a bad cook, if your food's kind of like sucks, I'm sure that you could do this. It's so easy. Just put it in the pan and spread it out. We're going to let this brown. That's what we want. We want this to brown a little bit because we're going to add the eggs in with this. You wait. It, it'll be good. Now, over here, I've got this bread that I made. I, yeah, I made this. It was actually like in the freezer department. You can get the frozen loaves of bread and all you have to do is stick them in the pan and voila, you have homemade bread. We're going to cut this. Let's just slice it. Look at that. And it's still, look at this. Look at the fluffiness. You know what? This was cheap too. I think I got this at like one of like Aldi's or Save a Lot. Not expensive. And I just cut that one real crooked. Look at that. That's okay. See, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just slice it the best you can. You don't have to be a perfect chef. You don't you don't have to be that. I've got this pan over here. This is clean. You can tell that I burnt something on it. I probably did probably biscuits because they're little round marks and they're burned. Just plop this on here. Just plop it on there in any any order you want. See, we just plopped. I'm going to put this in the oven in the broiler because I want to toast this side and then I'm going to flip it over and toast the other side just a little bit. Have your broiler ready while this goodness here is browning we're going to start the bread in the oven it goes you have to trust me on that one now the key here is to remember that you put it in the oven that's the key that, that's the key now i can see this is cooking some so now all you want to do i got look at the spatula i got coals love this it's big long love it just flip it over you can use roast beef hash you could make your own hash. You can do it however you want. You're the one that's going to eat it. So do it the way you want. Spread it out there because we do want it to brown just a little bit. Not a whole lot. We're going to mush it. There. Let's check on the toast. Remember the key is don't forget the bread's in the oven. See? 
and it's oh I got a pot holder. I almost reached in there with my hand. That would have been bad. Just toast it a little and we're gonna flip it over because we want the other side to be toasted. Oh geez, that's getting hot. We want the other side to be toasted just a little. Again, the key is don't forget the bread's in the oven. I just checked the oven and they're browned. That only took a few minutes. Pay attention to the bread. Now what we're going to do, let me move this. While this is cooking, we're going to do we're going to do this. Now you see we got the bread here. This is cooking in front of us. These are heels, so we're just going to flip those over. Now on this, we're going to add some butter. Where did my knife go? I got, okay, here it is. I tried to be prepared this time. I tried. Ouch. Dang on it. And be careful you don't hit the pan with your hand. It hurts. Put a little butter on here. Okay, just butter. Just put butter on it. Don't have to be perfect. Just slap some butter on there. If you don't like a lot of butter, you don't have to do this. You don't even have to put any butter on it if you want. You could put olive oil on this. That would be good too. I've done it both ways. See, look, you don't you don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna give our hash a little turn while we're waiting. Don't want to burn the hash either. That's the key. Don't burn the meal. If you do burn it, you just call it name it something else. It's no big deal. Just mush it down, let it, and just let it cook. Back to the toast. Now we're gonna put just some of oh, these. Oh, now I'm going to have to wash that. All right, let me put this in the sink. I missed. Let's try it again. I, I just want to try it again. It hit the wall and bounced in the sink. Now I have butter on the wall. Get yourself a spoon, which... Daggone it. This is my homemade garlic powder. That was a fun video to make. I had garlic powder everywhere. But I would really like a shaker on this. Sprinkle some garlic on this. Yeah, I see I need a shaker. Hey Rob, are you in here? Yeah. Can you come in here a minute? We'll, we'll just ask him now, he's in here. He's, he's out of the Walmart. I have an important question for you. Okay. Do you see this jar? That's that's my homemade garlic powder. Okay. Do you think you can make like a shaker out of that? All right, now I've got my handy dandy chopper. Link in my description to buy one of these. This is my favorite chopper in the whole wide world. I wish I would have had one a long time ago. All we're gonna do is slice these tomatoes with it easily. Okay, let's get it together. I wasn't sure which side I wanted to use. These are the Roma tomatoes I got out of my garden. So we're just going to slice it on the bread. And if it's not landing on the bread, I'll put it on the bread. Love this slicer, you guys. Seriously. I got it at... Where's my tomatoes? There they are. I got it at a garage sale. The lady said, I never used it. I was afraid of it. Well, can't be afraid of everything in life now, can you? There we go. Look at that. Easy, easy. Look how easy that was. I'll just spread the tomatoes around so they're evenly spread. Cheese on top of this would be really, really good. I do like this slicer. I really do. No joke. So we've got the tomatoes on the bread. I found mozzarella cheese in my refrigerator. Let's see if it looks moldy. It's not moldy. We're going to use it. Nope, not moldy. So we're just going to sprinkle some. Just some. Look how good that is. And you see how easy that was to do? You could use butter. Do whatever. You could put anything you want on this. Just get one of these cool slicers. Slice it up real thin. Put it on there. Now we're going to put this back in the broiler. I turned the broiler on low. Again, the key is remember that you put it in there. I have forgotten remember just remember trust me just remember while that's cooking back to this look, look at this it looks great i only used one can of hash as you saw bigger families use more hash usually when i use two cans of hash it goes to waste here nobody eats it well the dog eats it 
Maybe I should have made some for the dog. Now make yourself a little pocket, a little hash pocket, because this is where we're going to put our eggs, and we don't want any of the eggs getting out. We don't have chickens. We have giant eagle. There we go. One egg in. Look at that. Oh, that one escaped into the other one. But that's okay because it went into this hole. Here we go. One more. You go in there. See? There. Next one in the next hole. Look at that. Now get yourself a lid. Any lid will do. You don't have to have a lid that fits the pan. You know, you know, use your imagination. If you don't have a lid, use a cookie sheet. Use whatever you want. But I have, we're just going to cover it up for a little bit. We're going to check the bread. It's looking good so far. So we're going to let this cook and we're going to let the bread cook and I'll be right back. Let's check and see what we have here. Ooh, look at that. The eggs are getting done. Look at that. That looks delicious. Let's get our bread out of the oven. Didn't forget about the bread. I've been checking it. It's been doing okay. But we'll get it out right now. I'm just knock my ring light over. Look at there. What a breakfast that is. That looks wonderful to me. Wonderful to me.